Hi, this is an overview of how to um, pass flash variables uh, to an embedded flash file in a PowerPoint slide. And I'm going to use a Twitter badge uh, to display a Twitter feed in PowerPoint. And so to do that, uh, go to PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint 2010. Uh, you need to go to the developer tab and if you can't see it just google developer tab and there'll be a whole host of answers that explain how to do it as a custom ribbon option so the first thing we need to do is let's just get rid of this for a moment and just go back to the developer tab and just go to the uh the the, the hammer and spanner uh, icon here which is more controls to add to a slide and just go down until you can find shockwave flash object you have to have Flash installed on your PC uh, under Internet Explorer to show this. If you click OK and your cursor will turn into a little black cross. If you left hand click and hold the mouse down and drag you will get this which is an embedded shockwave flash object now in PowerPoint. If we right click on it, go to properties and you'll see there's a whole host of options that we can choose to configure. Um, one that people sometimes use is flash bars because that's what we're going to use here. Uh, this actually doesn't work. Uh, what we need to do is pass the flash bars directly to the flash file in the movie field here. Uh, you can actually do this using uh, Visual Basic but I'll save that to, uh, to another overview. So the first thing we need to do is actually load in uh, the actual flash object itself. So we'll take this from Twitter's own um, website. So this is the Twitter badge. So people use this if they want to embed um, a live Twitter feed sometimes into a blog or what have you. So we'll just access it directly using this URL. Uh, so this is the, uh, I've done that wrong. This is the uh, the direct path to the to the, the Twitter if you like badge on Twitter's website. Let's just check that. So there it is, and it's just displaying a sort of generic uh, Twitter feed, which is no good because I want it to display the one I choose, and also the colour's not ideal. Um, so let's just go back down into edit mode. Uh, just right click back onto properties, and the first thing we want to do is get it to show the uh, if you like the, the correct Twitter feed. So we do that by passing it a flash variable. So the first thing we need to do is add a question mark. That tells the flash file that we're going to pass it some information. And then we need to type in the information, if you like, that uh, tells this uh, flash object what Twitter feed we would like it to read. So the way we do that is type uh, equals, equals, and then user and ID equals and then we need to put in whichever Twitter feed we would like to use so I'll use mine uh, but obviously you can just replace in this case slide dynamic with whatever uh, your, uh, your your Twitter feed uh, name is so let's just go and check that okay so it's actually now showing the right um, Twitter feed which is mine and you can cycle back through the previous uh, tweets that I've made just by clicking on the down and up arrows so that's great so that's showing the right ones it's in flash but pink is not exactly my color so we need to change that so if we go back into edit mode uh, go back into properties and we need to add some more code in here so after the question mark again uh, we need to tell it the color uh, and then put in the hex value which for me is going to be blue. And put an and sign in somewhere here. There we go. So this is now going to instruct it to display my tweets but change the actual colour of the flash holder. So hopefully there you are. So that's blue, it's showing my tweets and I can cycle backwards and forwards through it. And that's how to pass flash variables directly into an embedded flash file in PowerPoint. You can use the same principle for any flash file that accepts flash variables or flash vars. And I'll do another tutorial to explain how you pass those
programmatically, if you like, using Visual Basic. Anyway, cheers.